This is a typical Dutch street with typical Dutch terrace houses in a row. They were generally constructed between 1945 and 1975. They have a high energy bill, face problems in the indoor environment and are actually a bit too small for modern households. Should we tear them down? Better not. There are around 1.4 million of these dwellings in the Netherlands. To demolish these and rebuild new ones would be an impossible task, leaving many people homeless for a while. Better to improve these houses and preserve the homes of the people living in them. In the year 2014, the TU Delft Solar Decathlon team decided to come up with a solution for these seemingly hopeless homes. And this is what it has become. If you look well, you see the original cross section of the building. You see a double gable wall. This is the southeast side with no thermal insulation. This is the original cross section. Now what we did first is fill that gap with thermal insulation so that it would be better performing in terms of energy. On the northwestern side we did something else. Please follow me. Now this is the northwestern side, the coldest side of the house. What we did here is knock out the masonry wall which is not load bearing and replace it with a thick layer of thermal insulation. 20-25 centimeters thick and add a brick slip that made it look exactly the same as it was. What we also did is replace the single glazing in the window frames with the best performing double glazing. Okay, if you follow me, we'll have a look inside. Welcome to the home with the skin. We also call it prêt à loger, which in French means ready to inhabit because the TU Delft Solo Decathlon team wanted to demonstrate how this house could be refurbished while the people were still living in it. Now what you see here is your typical Dutch home. And what you may also see is this. It looks like artificial lighting, but it's actually natural daylight coming in through so-called solar tubes. We will see them later. Let me first take you to the space which makes the home really special. Now this is what makes the home with the skin the home with the skin. We added this glass house to the original house to create a few functions. First, it is a buffer between inside and outside. Second, it produces electricity through these solar cells you can see on the top. And third, which you cannot see, it has a heat exchanger between the old roof and the glass house. The heat exchanger takes out the heat of the air transports it to a heat pump that creates hot water for showering and for the heating system. Now when we proposed this to the original inhabitants, they said, but well, we're going to lose a big part of our garden. That's not the case, I will show it to you. Because what happens in summertime is this. You simply open up the glass house and it becomes part of the garden. It's a wonderful garden because we wanted to show to these people how they can make the house also much more ecological. Together with NL Green Label we designed a garden that increases the biodiversity immensely in these living areas. Therefore the home with the skin is more than just energy, it's fully sustainable. So we're back to the northwestern side of the house. And here you can see the green roof, which again has a function for biodiversity, but also helps to cool down the building in summertime. What you can also see is the daylight catches. These are parts of the solar tubes that transport daylight from all directions into the building. I only forgot one thing to tell you. The house also collects rainwater and uses it for the toilet flushing and for the garden. And as you can see, it grows well. With that said, it's back off to work now. <music> 